Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today, talking about week one of the Jets. Oh my god, football's back. There's no fans in most of the stadiums, but football, it's, oh, it's an American thing. It's so cool. I got five minutes into it without hating myself again for being a Jets fan. Jets lose 27-17. Let me tell you, that score is generous. The Jets should have lost this game something like 38-10, something like that. This was pathetic. <laughs> the 1 o'clock game, um, I got up nice and early. I got up at 6.30, not for the 1 o'clock game. Don't worry, it was for softball. Uh, but I get back around 11.30, take a shower, put, put, you put, put some slippers on, put a jet jersey on pretend because it's the first game of the year that we're in it because nobody's ahead of us yet now everybody's ahead of us um i'm wearing an islander jersey uh that's because the whole jet game made me just wish the islanders were on and then the islanders made me wish that everything was gone my fantasy team sucks too anyway let's talk about the game um the jets were horrible they, you know, you would think ah, they it felt like they got something going at the end of last year. And I know in the preview I said, you know, a lot of it was smoke and mirrors because they were playing not great teams. Uh, and they were playing the Steelers with, like, their third-string quarterback. Um, and, yeah, it looks like it was smoke and mirrors because they were horrible today, the Jets in the first half, and the rest of the game as well. But the, the first half set the tone. That's what it does. Uh, and that was set by... Um, Three three and outs in a row to start the game. Our punter, though, man. Our punter. Good draft pick. That guy's great. Love him. I think he had a 58-yarder for his first. Back to the negative. Um, yeah, three three and outs in a row to start. It looked like no cohesive strategy going on. And when they did call plays that created chances for Sam, he missed the guys. Or they dropped it. <laughs> it was one of those two. It was hard to watch. It was... Um, it was, uh, the, the Jets are fortunate it wasn't a lot worse. So 27-17 looks like a somewhat competitive game. And then you throw in that the Bills missed a couple of chip shot field goals. Um, one of which actually might have been good. And the refs were just like, eh, nah. Um, also, Josh Allen fumbled a couple times. Uh, both of them lost uh, fumbles. So the Jets... Creating turnovers, something that our defense doesn't usually do. And guess what? We were good against the run. That's the one thing we're good at. We can stop the run like nobody else in the league. But we can't stop anything else. Quarterback running, that's not good. Can't do that. Jets defensive line is good at bottling up the run on designed runs. Um... Not designed runs by the quarterback. Josh Allen was had a few times in this game where uh, it looked like the Jets had a clean shot at him. And they just missed him. Uh, Marcus May had one early on where Josh Allen just gave a little... That's it. And uh, that's all it took for Marcus May to miss the tackle. Now, to Marcus May's credit, he had two sacks later in the game. He played the role of Jamal Adams today. Blitzed the safety a bunch. Um, and he looked good. You know, it was that one missed sack early on. That's tough. But you know what? Everybody else missed a bunch of sacks, so don't worry about it. Um, all time, uh, uh, they, he had all the time in the world, Josh Allen, to throw the ball. Uh, Josh Allen, even in a win, and in a game where he ran pretty effectively, fumbled a bunch, missed a couple of open receivers. Doesn't really matter against the Jets. Doesn't at all. We're terrible. Um, the Jets secondary, uh, Desir got benched. In the first half of the first game, that's a great sign. We have a lot of confidence in our defense. First half of the first game, uh, all right. But, I mean, it, I guess it was I, kind of the right move. A couple of penalties called on Desir, and he kind of got destroyed. And I kind of should have started John Brown in fantasy. But I didn't. And that's where we are. Anyway, but uh, it was 21 nothing in a blink of an eye uh, after the Jets' uh, defense bent but didn't break for most of the first quarter yeah it just got blown away for a while there that's what happens when your offense doesn't get a first down for the first three series defense starts to get a little bit gassed 
And, um, yeah, the Bills just walked right over the Jets. Uh, just thank God I've been watching the Jets for a long time. And you might say, why the hell is that? Because now I'm no Stradamus when it comes to the Jets. Right before halftime, if you check the Belmont Bunch Twitter, which, yes, I am now using for the Jets as well, sue me, um, the Jets had a little bit of a nice drive going. But we only had one timeout left because we called a couple. Uh, we also had a delay of game, by the way, just as far as we're talking about big mistakes. We had a delay of game coming out of a TV timeout? Uh, kickoff. That can't happen. That's basically right out of a timeout. How the hell do you do that? That's incredible. Um, we, got, we got a rinky-dink field goal. And I knew it. I tweeted, I am so excited for the end of this drive when the Jets kick a meaningless field goal. And the comedic gold that the Jets give you. Oh, thank you. You make me look like Nostradamus and you make me look sort of funny. Neither of which are things that are true. Uh, the, the, the field goal was because with like 20 seconds left in the half, at, in the red zone, down by three touchdowns, Adam Gase said, we're going to check down down the middle. That's right. Don't get out of bounds. Don't create a play that you can get out of bounds on and get a second shot at the end zone on the next play. Um, I don't know. Dump it. Spike it with three seconds left. Kick a field goal from the 15. You've turned a three-possession game into a three-possession game. That was so much fun. Wow, we're terrible. This is a bad team with no talent that isn't coached well. Oh, my God. It's week one, and I'm ranting. Oh, God. It's kind of fun, though. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so second half, uh, we got a nice little touchdown from Jameson Crowder, who threw his short king powers, evaded a bunch of tackles. Uh, probably nobody saw him, and he just, like, escaped. It was That was kind of cool, uh, because even the announcer was like, somehow the Jets are still in the game. And I was like, <laughs> that's exactly the right phrase I would use for that. Um, 21 to 10 at that point, and... Uh, wouldn't really get that close after that. Um, got a goal line stand for moral victories. Uh, that means a lot in a 16-game season where we have a really tough schedule. And a team that gave us some opportunities to stay in the game. And we did nothing. Uh, yeah, so we had a goal line stand that turned into a field goal instead of a touchdown. Um, any other team in the league would be like, that's right, we kept it to a two-score game. Uh, you know, it was 21-10 at that point. Now it's 24-10. We kept it to a two-score game. Yes, that's a big win. Now our really good offense, other teams would say, has a chance to score a touchdown, get a stop on defense, score another touchdown. We're back in it. If you're the Jets, you're like, <laughs> two touchdowns. What the hell is that? Uh, because, yeah, we got our little, uh, you know, our rinky-dink 69-yard uh, nice touchdown from Jamison Crowder. But, um yeah, uh, the other touchdown was in garbage time. This one's by Josh Adams, uh, the third string running back. Uh, jo uh, Le'Veon Bell got hurt in this game. Le'Veon Bell, who looked fairly effective on the ground, had a couple of like five, six yard carries. Um, I thought he looked pretty decent. Had a nice pass uh, reception from Darnold, and that was one of Darnold's better throws of the game. Um, that is saying a lot because there weren't a lot of good throws. Um, God. Why does Adam Gaze hate Le'Veon Bell? He loves... It's just like a culture... Frank Gore is my guy type thing. Frank Gore was all right. But you're... He's... I... I uh, Bell is like the fourth highest paid running back in the league. Uh, that might have changed after uh, the, the Dalvin Cook contract and uh, whatever. But... Oh, they just... They just... They just suck. <laughs> At the end of the day, they just suck. Um... It's not really a lot to take out of this game. Players of the game were our punter, man, who, if you're going to draft a punter, he better be good, and he was pretty good. And he's going to get a lot of work this year. Uh, and Marcus May, two sacks. Uh, Quinn Williams had what technically isn't a sack, but he did get um, Allen behind the line, but it was a de designed run. So, um, yeah, other than that, I didn't realize I, I see anything really out of uh, Williams that that was too exciting. So that's another good draft pick. Um, Becton, I, I, I know one play he got blown up for a sack, um, but I didn't see a, a ton after that. Our offensive line was shaky, as expected. Four out of the five guys are brand new. 
uh, and haven't played together. So that's kind of expected. But um, actually, our defensive line had a couple of bat downs. If you're if you're searching uh, for any positives possible, uh, but that's about it. Um, <laughs> Sam Ficken hit his one field goal and both extra points. <laughs> we are digging now. Um, so I'll take that. Next week we get the Niners, who uh, right now are uh, in a tight battle with Arizona. Um, and you might think, oh, that means we have a shot, right? Now Arizona is probably going to be pretty good. So that means uh, the Niners are going to come into our game angry and just kick the crap out of us. So that's going to be fun. But I have Kittle in fantasy, so that's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, can't wait for next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be a lot more ranty than my Islander videos just because the Jets are just horrid and uh at least the islanders are um don't have to be ashamed of themselves because they're working extremely hard um maybe it's just that the jets are bad and they are working hard and it's just that bad and they're also badly coached what are you gonna do uh that's the video like and subscribe um welcome to sport number two on this channel and we'll, we'll see you next time <laughs> all right bye